Hi, I'm Todd Wente and this is The Daily 180, 180 seconds of motivation and inspiration intended to help you take action and improve your life. This is episode 283 of The Daily 180 and today we're going to continue our series of D words. I want to talk about the word develop. Now, In my life, develop or development has always been a part of what I've done. I've gotten made a career of working in the training and development field, and my focus has always been on helping people develop new skills. But I was thinking about this a little bit differently the other day when my son pulled out his brand new, just barely purchased, latest, coolest, most invigorating thing that he'd ever seen. It was a Polaroid camera. Now, granted, it was not a vintage Polaroid camera from the 1970s like I was used to. No, 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 no. It was a remastered digital lens, blah, 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 blah. I mean, he just went on and on and on talking about how cool this camera was because you could pull the button, you could push the button and take a picture and then it spit a picture out the front. Okay, now, for those of us that are over the age of 40, all right? Yes, I'm over the age of 40. For those of us that are over the age of 40, we remember Polaroid cameras, right? I mean, they were the cameras that were just all the rage from the late uh, late to mid mid to late 70s all the way up through the mid to late 80s. And the, the cool thing was you pull it out and then you got a picture, right? I still have some of those pictures, uh, granted, they've deteriorated quite nastily since then, but I still have some of those pictures from those original years with those original Polaroid cameras. Now, the thing that impressed me so much, and the reason that I'm thinking about this, is not because of my son's enthusiasm about retro tech, although that's pretty cool. Uh, No, for me, the thing that was interesting was the care that he took to explain to us how the picture would develop. He took a picture while we were at dinner for our annual, uh, in in between Christmas and New Year's, our annual New Year's family dinner at a local restaurant that we go to every year. Um, It's kind of a big thing for us. And as he took this picture, he set it down. And I picked it up and he said, now, Dad, 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 I know in the old days you used to shake these to try and get them to develop faster. Don't. You really need to just let it sit and develop on its own. I thought about that a lot. There are an awful lot of situations that we face in our lives where we try to force things to develop faster. And sometimes it's us that we force to develop faster, that we try to make it happen faster, we try to make the results happen faster, we try to make our growth happen faster, we do everything we possibly can to make it happen faster and faster and faster, and then we get frustrated when it just takes time. I learned that lesson from that Polaroid camera and from that day with my son. Just let it take time. And maybe that's all it needs in order to develop correctly, completely, and in the way that it really should. I hope this has been useful for you. If it has, give us a thumbs up. Give us a share. We'd love to have you join us and for the rest of the journey and subscribe. In the meantime, my name is Todd Wente. This has been the Daily 180. Go forth and conquer. We'll see you next time.